Electrics day today. I'm just going to spur off this wall socket. Just going to attach a wire to um, these three and stick it down one of those holes and then run it out through the back of the wall. I've taken these off. Um, it'll come out through there and I'm going to run it up and out the top. I've got the side buttons on for that end wall so I need to attach some strings on the back to support the uh, insulation and then put the boards on the front and also stick some insulation down that ceiling one that you can't quite see and also I'm just going to attach the board straight to the wall with uh, some jointing compound at this end. So, let's move it on. All right, you can see I've added, that's the light wire, and the you can see it's got the new uh, new standard wiring, uh, blue brown for uh, blue brown for live, uh, blue for neutral. Um, so neutral is going in with the the old fashioned black and the live is going in with the old fashioned red and the others are all still green. Um, and I've just got that passed out through there, it's coming out through the other side. Screw this back on. This bit's... Okay. <laughs> I've got a bit carried away. Um, so that wall's done. Um, so what I did, I put the beams up as you saw earlier. I then screwed, stuck my hand through, screwed a whole load of screws down the other side um, of the uh, of the studs and tied string around it so it was like a spider's web of string on the other side um, of the studs and then I cut the insulation to size and then just pushed it in and the, the web of string on the other side stopped it from falling out, so it's all stayed in position. And then I just cut um, these pieces and I've screwed them on. Now, one thing I did on this side, in order to give this some support, I screwed uh, a piece of two by two on t into that wall um, to give this something to bond onto. And then you can see here, I've attached this piece as well so I've screwed that in um, on top of the plaster remembering I laid the level across um, across this plank and uh, remember to put a piece of plasterboard in there so that this is set back by the width of the plasterboard because you don't want to set this level and then you've got the plasterboard angling down. So I'm going to leave a gap for the plasterboard. So I just, I just put a couple, a couple of screws in there. It's not holding a lot of weight. Um, so that's that there. Put the insulation in here and now I'm just about to fit this last piece. So that last piece is screwed in. Just got this piece to put in. So you can see that's there, that piece of wood is in the way, so I just made a mark either side of it, the top, push it up, make a mark at the bottom, and then just extended the lines down, so across the bottom, I just cut that piece out. Now, this finger at the side is quite delicate, and I don't want it to snap, so I've cut down while this piece is supported, I've cut down this edge. And then when I start cutting down this one, and it starts flapping a bit, um, it's not connected to this. So hopefully this will stay there. I think if I'd cut this one down, then the whole piece would have been, if I'd cut down this one, the whole piece would have been unsupported when I was cutting here. I think there's a chance, this might, might, a bigger chance this would have snapped. So I've cut that out, it's now disconnected. Nothing's going to impact it unless I bang it. Um, so. Right, <clears throat> and that's it. We've got to put 
Yeah, I'm gonna put some plasterboard along the top there. Actually, no, I'm just gonna tape it. Um, tape all up all these joints, and then put some uh, jointing compound on them. And that's me done for the day. And then plaster it, skim it tomorrow.